Uh, well, Mark, good to see you. Um, what sort of week has it been on the training ground this week? Been good, the usual. Um, they've done some, uh, just some good work. We've actually looked back at the game last week, spent a bit of time on that, and um, and obviously went through um, what we needed to going into this game. So we moved pretty on pretty quickly from from uh, the Swansea game. Um, because you've got to, but also making sure that you're trying to pick up the elements that you need to moving into the next the next game. And, and there's a lot of games that are very similar this season because the teams are setting up very similarly. And uh, um, the amount of players that they uh, they commit forward in attack and into spaces and um, and control from the back and and how you can. Uh, exert the pressure. The, the, the games are all. The, the, having said that, the games are all different because you're going into different environments and at different stages of the season. But this is a uh, a game. Um, whilst you look forward to all the games, this is always a a, a really good game, a great atmosphere. Um, Ellen Road's always a um, a good place to go and play if you're a footballer. But it, it can be um, it can be tough also because they've got. Um, a lot of good players as well. Even though they've sold some players for you know lots of money, they've replaced them pretty well as well. Um, you've got um, uh, interruptions from people, but if you've got um, the manager really well, so Daniel Fark's done an, an incredible job, really, really unlucky last season as we were the season before, um, not to go up, and um, they'll be looking to do that this season, but the pressure is different at Leeds United than it is at Coventry City, although we want the same end goal, um, I think the demands are greater uh, for Daniel than, than they are for me here, yeah. but like I say, it's um, it's a really interesting game, it's going to be one that uh, we'll look forward to and, and hopefully we can contest it in a in a better way than we did last year, even though there was a draw last year, we, we didn't really take part in the game. Um, from an attacking point of view, there wasn't that much. I remember a shot from Ben Sheaf uh, fairly early on in the, in the um, I might say early on in the second half, I think, but and a goal from um, a goal from uh, Bobby Thomas, who ventured forward and stayed forward and got a cross on on his head, met it really well and scored a really good goal. That was coming up to to Christmas, so um, different circumstances, but you know we want the same. Uh, the, the same thing, we want to try and pick up the three points, a really tough place to go to be fair. Mm -hmm. But I was going to come to that, you've got good recent memories against them, obviously I know it's about looking forward, not looking back necessarily, but four points out of six against them last season, you can perhaps move, use that as a, a positive motivational tool, can you? Uh, well I think that, uh, for the, obviously there's a lot of players that have left, um, a lot of players that are still here. Mm -hmm. um, so those that experienced it will go there knowing that they've played a couple of games against Leeds last season and um, certainly in the home game we were, you know, I thought we were good value for um, the win but they've got really good players, there's no doubt, you know, they're, they're on the front foot, they want to press, the, um, the, the, the spaces that they take up are really intelligent, they've got really intelligent, talented players and, you know, even though Crescencio Somerville's gone and They've got a number of players that have that have exited the building. Root has gone, and you know <coughs> they've still got a lot of talent there, um, and they look they look a threat, you know. So we've got to be we've got to be at our best again, and, and but I want us to take part in the game properly, you know, if we possibly can do, and, and that's something that we'll be looking to, to to try and do, and if we can do that, and uh, when we have possession of football, you know, we want we want to be. Um, better than we were, make better use of it really than we did last season. Just going back to, to Swansea briefly, if we could, um, you said after the game that you weren't necessarily happy with, with one or two individuals. Have they been dealt with this week? Uh, I, I think you've all picked up the wrong end of the stick. That wasn't a criticism. I, I was concerned with one or two players that are, um, that are, not, that are not sort of understanding. Um, or not reacting in the way um, that I expect or want them to do, and they would normally do. So you know, th there's always things that happen in, in football. I've spoken about this before. 
um, managing a group of individuals, the, the human beings at the end of the day, you know, there's a lot of things that, that, that happen for them in daily life, you know, I mean, life happens to people and then obviously you've got social media on top of it and if they pay any attention, if they're daft enough to pay any attention to that then it can affect individuals in a negative way and and, and also if people, certain people felt um, under pressure or they felt that it wasn't going right and you don't know how to put that right then um, they need help. You know, that, that's what I'm saying, you know, and that was what I wanted to get to the bottom of, not any criticism at all and I know I know Andy you picked up on on that and, and said that it was it was a it certainly wasn't a criticism although in the moment um, you want you know you want a better performance um, but a more aggressive performance than we than we gave in the first half so um, that was that was the thing but it, it's not it happens you know it happens it happened last season it happens every season to be fair um, I remember games at Norwich and, you know, this season Norwich at home wasn't brilliant. Two seasons ago against Norwich at home was, was awful. We lost 4-2, you know, the, the games that we've, um, that we've had in the past where we haven't necessarily performed pretty well. That was sort of, sort of on those lines, but nowhere near it. It wasn't nowhere near as bad as the Norwich away when we lost 3-0 and, you know, it was... Um, uh, it was something that need, needed to be resolved, but I need to understand it and get to the bottom of what what's being said on the pitch. What's you know who's saying what to who? You know what the instructions are from individuals, what they're doing. You know when they feel a little bit under pressure, and and um, and that was the thing about you know the expectation levels going into this season. You know we've got to manage that and make sure that they're in a they're in a a, a realistic place and a realistic frame of mind, but doesn't change the end goal. You know, we all want to get promoted from this division, but I said before, there's 23 other teams that would like the same thing in the, at this uh, at this level. It's really, really difficult, um, and doesn't automatically happen. And if people think that that is uh, is the case, then absolutely mad. It's crazy. So it's a process. You've got to go through a process, and the process starts every season. It's just. It just is what it is. You get a different group of players in, you've got a different set of circumstances, you've got a load of different teams in there, and to manage that takes takes time. And the same thing happens year on year. And at some point this season, we'll get things right, things will click, and it'll, uh, it'll start to look how we want it to look. But there's been some really positive signs so far anyway. If you just focus on one negative, then, you know, you're, you, you're, sort, of, you're sort of dragging yourselves down rather than bringing yourselves up. Um, Bobby, nice to see you. Um, and Ellen Road obviously holds fairly special memories, I would think, for, for you last season, doesn't it? Yeah, it was a um, good game last year. Got a good, good, good goal, sorry. Um, and uh, it was a good point, good performance. Yeah, it was always good to score in a way ground. Um, but yeah, good memories. <laughs> and centre-back playing centre-forward for those few seconds last night, yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, just... Carried on my run and it went wide and I thought, why not, I fancy myself in the air, so I had to put a great ball in and got the point. Yeah. And at the end, obviously, there was a bit of to and fro with Crescencio, Somerville, that took exception to the way that the boys had approached the game, essentially, by the months of it back then. Yeah, definitely. It was just a bit of, you know, it was just football and, yeah, we just, we were, we were strong in our mindsets and... So that. <laughs> now, a similar approach we can expect this weekend, then, can we? Uh, I think so. You'll, you'll say you'll see on the weekend, but yeah, pretty pretty much. You know, we'll go go for more shape, and I think we'll attack the game in a similar mindset and a similar man, a similar manner. Mm. And obviously, you do with all games. Had a, a debrief after the the Swansea match. Just the broad brushstroke outlines of that were. Just that we didn't we didn't really lay a glove on them. Um, let's say we were at home and we kind of let them just do what what they wanted in their game plan and uh, can't happen. You know it, it it wasn't good enough and yeah we just need to get more pressure on the ball and be a lot more aggressive in in a whole a generic gameplay to be honest. Because mm. coming so soon after the. The Tottenham game. I think that was the perhaps the, the surprise to 
to people that you, you couldn't you know replicate no. that performance again. Yeah, I think that you know the Tottenham game was obviously a whole different game where we kind of set out to play the same in both games or similar, um, and then we got it. We, we kind of got it right in the Tottenham game where we it was a lot more positive and a lot more pressure, um, and then trying to replicate that a little bit on Sunday, uh, Saturday. Sorry, because uh, yeah, I didn't go to plan and we didn't manage to. Get the pressure on we, that we wanted and we needed to. Mm. Was the, the Wednesday Saturday turnaround a factor in that or not necessarily? Um, I don't think so, no. We're all young fit lads and I don't see no reason why that should be that should play an impact. Uh should have an impact, sorry, but they say it wasn't good enough and it can't happen again. It's obviously just a one win in the first six games. How do you Assess the the start overall to the season. Uh, not what we wanted, not where we wanted to be. Um, I'm sure everyone will agree with that. And you know we had a similar similar start last year. But yeah, we all know that it's 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 not good enough, and we are striving and we are working hard to try and correct and get better results, which we we need and we all want. But you say it's tough division, the championship, and we need to do a bit more to um, whether that's management of games or ruthlessness. You know, we haven't we haven't kept many clean sheets, so it starts. It needs to start clicking and you know, like gelling together a bit more. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, the two clean sheets so far have both been in the in the league cup games, not in the in the championship. No. Um, so far, so yeah, as you just acknowledge, really, that, yeah. that's got to change, hasn't it? Yeah, definitely, yeah. But the games that we've lost or drew, um, we'll say lost because it's never been more than a, a one goal margin. So, yeah, there is that ruthless factor of that one more chance put away or that one more defensive action where it wouldn't have resulted in a goal, puts us in a whole different position, and we could be sitting in. A different position in the league and you know a different feel around the place where yeah I think the one goal margins has been where we've not been on the right end of the margin. Yeah. Mm. I was saying to, to Andy earlier, I mean I think it's sixty nine goal attempts throughout the season so far, but only twenty nine of those have, have been on target, so that kind of tells you a lot of what you need to know, isn't it? Yeah. Um I, th I feel like we've been in I say a lot of great positions, and you see it from the stats, but like the stats don't really mean mean enough. Well, they don't mean enough, and the goals need to well, the goals count. So we need to be ruthless with in both end at both ends. Sorry, um, it's not just we can't just rely on the attacking. Like the the defence has got to show up shop a lot more, and you know I get a few more zeros on the um, on our side for just to free up for the attackers and. The same the other side, a goal, a goal for us, and then a second goal just takes the pressure off the team, or you know, it's just, it's just not. We're not being ruthless enough at the moment, yeah. Well, what's the resolve like in the in the dressing room to to turn it around, Bobby? What do you mean, sorry? In terms of you know the players, you got together this week to yeah, chat about. Things. I don't, I don't think um, we're not panicking or anything. Um, you know, we're going about our business um, as we normally would, which is how you'd expect because the standards are really high anyway. So it's not you know, the lads are doing you know, a bit extra extra finishing, but they do finishing every day anyway. So it's not like they're really panicking. It's same good, um, positive, strong mentality, good training, good standards. But yeah, I think. I think it'll just it just needs to click at some point, yeah.